I'm really happy for Vaughn and, and happy for our team and um, you know she deserves that and um, you know and I, I just you know when I look back at her career I think she's maximized her her opportunity I think she's maximized her potential um, you know so I, you know my hope is she leaves here without without regrets as far as you know I could have done more or this or that I don't think there's anything else Fawny could do um, she shows up every night rebounds it you know defends um, scores it um, and and you know, doesn't have great knees, so doesn't you know? Doesn't she doesn't feel good every day? Um, but but she's very consistent in who she is and how she works. All right, that end. Pretty good game for y'all, especially in the fourth quarter, forcing 18 turnovers. How big was that tonight to get that kind of defensive performance? Yeah, we you know, Laren really strung those together. I think to start the fourth, um, and then you know, I just you know thought as a as a team we just really defended pretty well. They're hard to defend. They have multiple guards that can make plays off the bounce, multiple guards that can really shoot the three really well. Um, they try to spread you out, and they have that big in the middle rolling. So there's multiple things you have to guard kind of at the same time and kind of be all in the flow. So um, we were so much better guarding, you know, this time around than last. And, um, you know, and, and, you know, because of that, I think, you know, off, if you run good offense, you usually have better defense. You play good defense, you usually have better offense. They're very connected. And, and for us, I think in that third and fourth, that's that that was the flow of the game for us. Okay. How important was it to kind of get this win to have, when you had to play them again on Friday? Oh, I, I think really important. You know, one, you, it, it mattered. You finish, you know, the spot in front of them. Um, and then we have some confidence going into the tournament um, and, and obviously extremely familiar. I mean, both teams, there's not much probably left on a scouting report to, to do other than to maybe refresh after what happened in this game. Um, but it should be, you know, pretty easy for them to re recall. Coach, 30 points in the paper, you guys tonight, maybe half of those came from your bigs. So what did you see from your guards kind of just driving inside until they attack? Um, we started four guards, um, and I think, you know, that opens up the floor typically and you have more opportunity to attack. I thought Laren did a good job of finding some seams. Um, when we were executing, I thought we had a, did a good job of, you know, of, a, of attacking off ball screens and getting into the pain and, um, you know, and looking to score it. And, um, you know, you gotta, you got to be able to do that. you got to be able to put it on the floor. you got to be able to shoot the three. And Nick kind of mentioned it too, but 21 points coming off of the turnovers that you were able to force. I guess just what did you see from your team being able to really capitalize on those opportunities? Like awareness, you know, typically when you come up with good steals and um, you're getting stops and, you know, you're seeing rotations, um, you're just aware. And I thought we had, you know, good awareness and, and kids that were very locked in and in the moment. What difference do you feel like it's going to make for your team being at a neutral side and not having either team really have the, the home? Well, I'm hoping that that makes a difference, you know. Um, you know, we we are we're young, we're inexperienced, and um, you know, I think that our team has learned a lot throughout this season of, you know, just what that feels like, and you know how you got to show up. And um, we're excited about the Big 12 tournament. We're excited about our opportunity on Friday. You've had the opportunity to do it as a player. You now have the opportunity to do it as a coach. Which is harder, being a coach on senior day? with a senior you've seen go through all four years for a player who's been the program for four years? Oh, I think they're both hard, you know. I, you, it's, it's emotional. Um, I think with, with every kid that you, you know, you've spent four years with them and it's it's been up, down, and everything in between. And, you know, it's really a unique job because you get to watch someone really develop as as a person and, um, and mature in a lot of ways that um, that you just do in that span of your life. Um, on a college campus away from your parents. So, um, I, you know, we love Vaughn, and um, I'm really blessed to get to coach her and, and be a part of her life, be a part of her journey. Um, and then as a player, you know, it's different because it's you no longer get to play your sport. I think that's what um, is always tough on senior night for players. What were you doing differently in the second half to, get, to take care of the ball so much better? I think three turnovers in the second half. Yeah, I think, um, you know, I just, I thought you saw our kids' focus and execution um, rise um, a little bit. And, um, you know, turnovers are all about decision making. And, you know, we're going to make sure we have the ball in the right people's hands to make those decisions. But, um, you know, that's, that's ultimately, if no one's trapping you or forcing you into stuff, you know, it's all about reading defense and uh, making good decisions. It's a, it's a good feeling 
to get a win on on senior night, and we we played as a team and we played hard and we played great together. Larry, how much did y'all like the win for after you, you know only one senior on this team? Obviously, you want to send her out with that win. Oh yeah, for sure. She's done a lot for this program. Uh, obviously, I wasn't here. Coach Whitaker's been here too, and. I mean, she's, like I said, she's done a lot for this program, and we just know Vine's going to step up at any moment, hit any shot, anything we need. Every big shot, we can count on her. And she did that tonight, especially. Came out on fire and ended the game on fire. So just really wanted to get this for her, and it just meant a lot. All right, I want to play on the line now. <clears throat> the fourth quarter, what, what kind of changed and what, what switch kind of flipped on again? Seems like that's kind of a trend here at home, flipping Lame. that switch on in the fourth quarter. Uh, I just believe that. We, uh, like I said, it's been a trend, and we knew that defensive stops were going to be key. Uh, I think we turned it up on defensive end, and then, like I said, Bonnie making two straight uh, shots in a row, and then having other people step up, making plays, getting steals, fast break, and that's how we play. That's how we play well, playing in transition and playing fast. Bonnie. Bonnie, you want to? Um, it was it was definitely a team contribution. I think Laren, she was a big part of it. Um, she got a lot of stops. To, Sorry, a defensively and that that carried us. All right, Bonnie, when you look back on, on this now, I guess what's your thoughts and emotions just knowing this is kind of at the end for your Texas Tech career? Um, it it sucks, but um <laughs> I'm proud to be part of a program who has loyal f fans. Um We've had the same fans through thick and thin, and they've seen our struggles, and they've, they've been here since day one.